there, just thought I would share with you one of the things that I do maybe once or twice a year to um, help my hair stay not like this. And that is cutting it myself. Um, it's also a great way to save a little money. I absolutely love my hairdresser. She's amazing. Um, but it's really hard for me to actually go and commit to that. Um, and I usually end up being really desperate for a haircut and then she's all booked up because she's amazing. So I'm going to cut my hair myself and I'm going to show you how I do it. I do something called the unicorn method. Um, there's lots of YouTube videos that you can check out to see how exactly to do that, but this is how I do it. So I start by brushing my hair all the way to the front. I'm going to put a ponytail right here. So I make sure I don't have any kinks in my hair. I get it all nice and brushed out. I have kind of a cowlick back here. So I gotta make sure I'm not to have a cowlick. And then just really make sure to brush this out. My hair gets really damaged um, seasonally. I feel like the weather is just really harsh on it. So, um, and I don't wash it more than like maybe once a week. So I have a lot of probably pollutants that keep on clinging on. All right, so my hair's up like this. I try to smooth it out as best I can. And then I'm gonna secure this with a very tight ponytail um, right here. And I try to maybe go like back, maybe two inches. I've done it where I go straight from the forehead and it tends to be a little bit too severe of a um, layers for me. So this style is how to get layers in your hair um, without going to a hairstylist. <laughs> so it's worked for me and I do do a bit of a cleanup job on it. So it's not even. Okay, so it's even like this. What I do is I wet the ends and I have a hair cutting kit um, because I cut all of my boys hair myself. So this was, I don't know, I think John got it somewhere, but I just wet the ends like that. And then I pull it straight up like this. And then I'm also going to secure the end like this. So this kind of reduces the severity of the part or the um, layers again. So it's out like this instead of just straight. Okay, and then I brush the ends. And I'm gonna cut off about this much. So I take my scissors and I go like this and get it all straight. Okay, and I'm gonna do a big cut and then I'm gonna go in and piece it up a little bit. So here's a big cut right here. Get my hair. To make it even. All right, so it's like this, and then I'm gonna go in and just give it a little bit. Gotta be a little wet before I do that. Give it a little bit more texture by cutting up a little bit. And I have to spread my hair out because it does. It's a little bit thick. And this is just because I don't want it to be completely straight at the layers. Um, and then I do have, I don't even know what these are called, but they're scissors that um, kind of look like this. So I'm gonna take my hair out, show it to you, clean it up. Um, I don't know if I have a razor in this bathroom, but if I do, I will clean it up that way. So here's my hair. You can see it. Looks like this. Okay. And oops. So it looks like this. And then I'm gonna go through with all the layers and thin it out a little bit. You can kind of see there's um there's some layers right here that come down, but this is too much of a severe like 
for me. So I'm going to go thin this and get some layers kind of right here. And that will help me get a little bit more of like a styled look. So I'm going to make sure my hair is even because I wear my hair with a middle part. And I use these scissors to just kind of part my hair. It's actually down the middle. And then like this. All right, so now you can see it's like a little bit, a little bit too much right here. So I'm gonna go through a little bit right at the end here and then just thin this out a little bit. It's hard to show you the angle and actually do it well for myself. Okay, so here it is. <laughs> you just go through, just do a little bit, just like that to make it a little bit less like a whole layer. So this layer ended up being kind of big. I don't like that. So I'm going to do a little bit of thinning on the top, a little bit on the bottom, and then I'm going to take some hair that's kind of near it. And there we go. And give this a little bit more of a layered look. Just like that. It's a little bit less now. Okay, it's looking good. I still have like, these ends are a little bit too dead for me still, but it'll do for now. Um, I'll probably go through with a razor and take my layers and just kind of give a little razor right there. Um, you can do this with scissors, but I tend to not be very skilled at that. I'll show you kind of what you can do. You can kind of go down and get some of the hair so it looks a little bit more PC. But if you're an actual hairstylist, you're probably horrified at what I'm doing. <laughs> but um, that's how I do my hair. I feel like it works for me. Um, it keeps my hair healthy between actual cuts from my stylist. Um, it's better than just doing a straight cut, which is what I have been doing before. I would just like take my hair and cut it and it looked really bad. So I'm glad I found the unicorn cut. If you like this, go ahead and give it a shot. It's um, definitely a brave move <laughs> to try. And you do get layers that are like up here all the way down to you know, you get some really severe layers. So if that's not the style that you're going for, I wouldn't choose this DIY haircut style. Um, and then after a few times of trying it, you'll get the sense of kind of where to, where to have your, I'm just doing a little, there we go. So it kind of is, Still not the way I like it. I need to get a razor because um, this layer, this is too much for me um, and I don't want to make it shorter. So I just kind of have to play around with it. Maybe make this a little bit more of a grade. I like this side though. This side's good. This side's more severe and I generally don't like wear my hair in the side part, but if you do, it can be like a really heavy layer on one side. So if you wear your hair in a side part, look for a different DIY style, but that's how I do my hair in between stylist bookings. So hopefully this worked for you. Or it didn't work for you, but hopefully you liked it. And if it works for you, you try it, let me know.